Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla3D. In this Java tutorial, I'll be teaching you the basics of variables in Java. So first, we're going to go over this the primitive types, which is char. Um, and to define a variable, you simply type in the type that you want. So we say char, then we type in the name of the variable, which is type name. And then we can leave it alone and define it later. So we can say name equals, and because char stands for character, we can only assign one character to it. I'll tell you why, or I'll show you how to assign more characters later. Or you can do equals, and then put you as you define it. So then another variable type is integer, which is basically a whole number, and the key word for that is int. So we do int age equals 10, and then there's also double, which is basically uh, decimals. So, um, so we do double, and we can do x equals 0, 0.0. Then we can also do float. Float is smaller than a double. Um, it uses less memory. So we do y equals 0, 0.0, and right after the decimal, we type in f, and we end it with a semicolon. Um, so um, there's a few more. There's long and probably one more I'm forgetting. But for now, that's the basics. The next thing about variables you want to learn are creating an array of variables. An array is basically like cubby holes, and within each cubby hole is an element. And so let's go ahead and define char. Instead of being a single character, we're going to have multiple. So we use the square brackets to define it, and we say name equals, and then we have to create the constructor for it, saying new char brackets again, and we say it's going to be two characters long. So now we have name, we can't actually just do name equals, no, for two characters. It won't allow us to access it like that. The way we have to access it is by um, adding the square brackets, and it starts with zero as your first array. So you have name zero, and we're going to do equals, and put n, and name one equals, oh. So you, that's how you would define the two characters that we have within the name. Um, another way to do this that will be easier on you is instead of doing setting as an array, you just do string, which is an object type, and then we do name equals, and then you type in no. So you don't have to do all that complex defining of a, an array type. But let's say you want to have like a position of your character or something, so you can do like float, and then we type in position. Actually, we need to scroll up the brackets. Equals new, and then we do float, and then we can say as this. We can keep this as three for x, y, and z axis, and then we can define that just like we did with our character. Um, one thing you might want to do later on is convert types. So let's say we wanted to convert a string to an integer, so we can have let's say 2, and we can do int age equals integer, which is the, the class, just like string. Then we do from actually I think it's value from, or value of, and then when we can either use an integer, a string, or a string and an integer. So we go ahead and do name and that converts our our string to an integer. Um, let's go ahead and redefine name as a float string. So let's go ahead and do 0, 0.0. And then we can do int x equals, actually it will be float x. Float x equals float, just like an integer class. And do we do value from or value of 
and then you type in name again. So we converted our string, which was the number two, into an integer, and then our float of a name, which is 0.0, .0 into a float. Alright, and then you, there's also double, and there is long. So there's double, long, float, and integer, and string. So you've, you've learned how to create variables, how to create arrays of variables, how to access elements within the array, and then how to convert your variables. That's the basics of variables in Java.